Hello, good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Everybody. Hi, how are you? Good evening. Fine. Thank, thank you. All right. I'm glad to hear that. Welcome. Thank are you. we ready? Yes. <laughs> of course. All right. What do you remember from yesterday class? Volunteers, tell me. Yes? Who wants to participate? Uh -huh. I remember, we yes. We revise the, the passive with by. Mm -hmm. The use of passive voice, exactly. Uh huh. What else? What else? What did we do in class? Something you remember? Anybody else? Introduce yourself. The we introduce ourselves. Okay. The exercises. Which exercises? Uh huh. Me. Rosa? Yes. Uh, yesterday we did the exercise with the present passive. Mm -hmm. We did exercises using the passive voice in present or in past? In past. In past, right? Yes. We'd say, oh, that movie was directed by Steven Spielberg. Oh, that painting or that picture was painted by Leonardo da Vinci, right? So that city was discovered by, yes? So was, were, past, it's in past tense. All right, what else? Somebody else? Or something you study, something you studied or practiced on the platform that you remember now? Uh -huh. Someone else? No more. It's all right, no okay? More. Don't worry. It's fine. Okay, write two sentences using the passive voice in pass in the chat. Let's start checking. Two sentences, yes, using the passive voice in pass on the chat. Let's start using the chat, okay? Write two sentences. In the meantime, yes, let's wait for the chat. Yeah, I introduced the class. We're gonna start at class number two, but we're making a review of what happened in the class yesterday. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look at the chat. All right. Two sentences using the passive voice in past. If you need any help, you can ask, okay? Uh-huh. The fish was fried by the cook. That's the first one. Nice. Good job. Mm -hmm. Someone else? No more examples? All right, the house was cleaned by his wife. Good. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, the baker made the street bread. The street bread was made by the baker. That's a good one. So you write active and passive voice. That's okay. The dough was run in the park. Uh-huh. The dough was walked, probably. Mm -hmm. The song La Copa de la Vida was sung by Ricky Martin. That's right. And the Waka Waka was sung oh. by Shakira. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> what else? Yes. That's right. <laughs> now thinking about the World Cup, right? <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's correct. It's coming soon. Yes. <laughs> yeah, oh, many people November, are excited. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm not quite sure, but I think it starts in June. It's usually like in the middle oh, of the year, but I'm not quite yeah. sure. Maybe. Okay, the house was built by the engineers. That's right. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, the boys were shared by the TV. The boys' news were shared by the TV. The homework was done by the boy. Done. Remember, do, did, done. Mm -hmm. That's right. Okay, good examples. All right. Something else? Okay, keep writing. Yes, keep writing. It's okay. Uh huh. The letter was sent by the boss. That's right. The homework was done by me or by the boy. <laughs> okay. That's great. My house was cleaned by me. <laughs> okay, by myself. Sometimes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that can, that Sometimes. sounds a little bit better, I think. <laughs> yeah. You say, ah, I, I have no help to do the cleaning here in my house. So it's always cleaned by me. It's always cleaned by myself, <laughs> right? Surf City was created in by this... El Salvador. That's great. That's a good one. Mm -hmm. In this moment, I don't know how to say uh, my employer uh, or oh, how no, sorry, sorry. the housekeeper. Um, Housekeeper, yes. When uh, you employ somebody to take care of the house and the and the housework, you usually say, "Oh, I have a housekeeper." Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Nice. All right. We're gonna practice a little bit more. I have this one. Let me just share the screen one more time. You can keep writing, and later on we can read the next sentences so that's not a problem let's see i'm going to share this screen and we're going to practice with this exercises all right we're going to be spinning and we're going to get uh-huh i guess this is crushed there's a typo here Melly crushed the car so <laughs> okay there's there's an h missing there okay so crushed the car so if you pass this sentence to passive voice this would be the car was crushed by melly yes so we're gonna eliminate that one because of the typo never mind we're gonna have plenty more okay this one says the storm destroyed the city impassive is the city was destroyed by the storm exactly the city was destroyed by the storm all right let's go on
The man didn't take the jewelry. The jewelry. The jewelry didn't take the man. What? I know. Wasn't. <laughs> the jewelry did. We don't use didn't because we have to use the verb to be in past. So it has to be was in negative. The jewelry wasn't. Wasn't was taken, taken by the man. By the man. Exactly. He said, no, he didn't. He, the man didn't take the jewelry. So the, the jewelry wasn't taken by him, wasn't taken by the man, right? Great. That's a good one. Oh no. <laughs> The government closed all the universities. All the universities was closed. All the universities in Florida. So we use where all the universities were, were closed, by, were closed the government. by the government. Imagine how cruel that sounds. <laughs> yes. Nice. All right, the boy saw some bears. Some bears. Some bears were stumbled by the boy. Was where? Where? So, saw by the seen. boy. Uh -huh. Some bears were seen by the boy. By the boy. We have to remember the, uh -huh. that, that this is the tricky part of the, of the past voice, that we have to remember the past participle of the verb, right? That's yes. the, the trick here. Yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> this is a good one. Uh -huh. The car was washed by the girl. Exactly. The girl washed the car. So you say, oh, the car was washed by the girl. Yes. That's right. The storm split a big tree. I think in this case, it's not a storm. It has to be the, the thunder. <laughs> Uh -huh. So a big tree, a big tree, a big tree was split by the storm. By was the storm. split by the storm. Exactly. Mm hmm. The police found the criminals. The criminals were found by the police. By the police. Exactly. The criminals were found by the police. The boy didn't crash the security camera. The security camera? Was wasn't was crashed by the boy. By right? the boy. So the boy didn't crash the security ca camera. So the security camera wasn't crashed by the good boy. Good evening. Hey, good evening. Everyone. Welcome. Uh, so I'm late. Don't worry. I'm late. I was working. I was driving. Traffic, yes. Uh, I believe it's terrible these days, actually. <laughs> yes, the ambulance took the people to the hospital. Okay. Uh. Mm -hmm. The people? The, the, the people to one. The people yeah. is plural, remember? The people to uh -huh. the hospital. The people to the hospital were, were token. 
The people were taken to the hospital by the ambulance. Or the people were taken by the ambulance to the hospital, right? That's great. We still have some more. The earthquake didn't damage the house. Houses? The houses? Yeah, the houses. 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 houses weren't damaged, damaged by the earthquake. By yeah. the earthquake. Work. The houses weren't damaged by the earthquake. Okay. Damage, remember, you only put D, the letter D. Mm -hmm. The houses weren't damaged by the earthquake. That's right. My grandpa read the newspaper. The newspaper? Was read read read, 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 read by my grandpa. Exactly. The newspaper was red, like the color. But the spelling is there, <laughs> it's exactly the same, but you pronounce it like the color, right? So the newspaper was read by my grandpa. And of course, we still have two more. Oh my goodness, this happened about 20, 22 years ago. An earthquake hit El Salvador. El Salvador, El Salvador. Was, El Salvador. Was, by earthquake. was hit, hit by an earthquake. earthquake. By an by earthquake. An er earthquake. 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 <laughs> it's earthquake. the worst, right? Earthquake. earthquake. That's right. And the last one. The other one. Oops. I hope we don't get the same one. Let's spin it out. Again. The boys stole a bank. Mm -hmm. A bank, a bank was stolen, stolen, stolen by, by the, the boys. boys. Exactly, a bank was stolen by the boys, right? Okay, good job. Give yourself an applause. That's a good job, okay? This is to practice the use of passive voice in past tense. But tonight, we have to start introducing the passive voice in present, okay? So, okay. let me share. Yes, usually uh, we use the, the passive voice in present to describe how things are done, right? So let me just keep going. At the end of this class, the students will be able to say affirmative and negative sentences using the passive voice in, sim in present simple and describe how things are done by using the passive voice in simple present. Present simple is the same thing, right? Okay, and this is the structure. Passive without by. So it's not necessary to say by whom, yes? In the past, it is important sometimes because it's necessary. It is kind of you know, necessary to mention who did that action, but we focus on what was done. But in this one, it's not really necessary. It's kind of obvious, right? So <laughs> this is the structure. We have passive without by and the simple present. For the simple present, use the present of be. Yes, is or are or am, if it is necessary. And the past participle, so the active. They use euro in most of the European Union. Euro is the currency, the money, right? Mm -hmm. So the euro is used. It's used. used. It is used, right. The euro is used in most of the European Union. Mm -hmm. They is, of course, let me just 
choose something from here. The annotation. Okay. Of course, when we say they, they use the Europe in most of the European Union, we understand that is people, right? In those countries. So that is that is why it is not necessary to mention by whom, right? So they use Europe in, okay, they use Europe in most of the European Union. It is obvious that it, the Euro is used by people, by the citizens, by the whoever is in those countries, right? So we say the Euro is used by whom? It's not necessary. So the Euro is used in most of the European Union. They speak English in many European countries. Who speak? Obviously, people, right? The citizens, the inhabitants of those countries. So they speak English in many European countries. English is spoken, 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 spoken in many European, in many European countries. countries. That's right. They manufacture a lot of cars in Europe. A lot of cars are manufactured in Europe. Europe. Exactly. If you see, is, is, are. So that's why we use the present of be. A lot of cars is plural. That's why we say a lot of cars are manufactured in Europe. Mm -hmm. So this is the, the, the trick for the passive, okay? <laughs> they produce a lot of wine in Portugal. A lot of wine becomes the subject. And then we say a lot of wine is produced. Produce. Produced. Produced. In Portugal. <laughs> With the regular verse, we only put ed and that's it. But with the irregular verse, we have to remember which is the past participle form of the verse, right? Okay. Any question? Yes. If you have a question, just raise your hand, just tell me. No questions? No question. Yes. Sure. Mm -hmm. All right, perfect. Uh -huh. All right, here we go. Now. Again, I explain. This is the rule, okay? So you follow the examples. And now you're going to work in groups and you're going to complete these sentences, okay? First, read the examples. They use the gen in Japan, the gen is used in Japan. They speak both Spanish and Portuguese in Latin America. Both Spanish and Portuguese are spoken in Latin America. They grow a lot of coffee in Brazil. A lot of coffee is grown in Brazil. Check the sentences, check the verse, eat, grow, make up, manufacture, speak, teach, use, wear, and try to remember the past participle of this verse, and then you complement these sentences. Of course, for this exercise, we're going to be in groups, and we're going to be sharing, okay, what we understand, if a person needs to... Um, repeat or needs an extra explanation or needs more examples so we can help each other all right we're gonna make groups of five people I will well, I'll make five groups actually maybe three or four people would be in each of the groups okay I'll share the screen the screenshot with you in a minute I share uh, the screenshot in the WhatsApp group, okay? Okay. All right. All right. And the first one. Uh, okay. But French and English in Canada. But 
da French, on Canada, English. Ah, is it but speak? Is but the sentence is maybe maybe is. Ah. Huh. Okay. In, in. But but speak. Hi, teacher. England. Hello. Yeah. <clears throat> we made the, the first one, teacher. Really? Uh, How did it sound? Both French <laughs> and English uh, are po are spoken in Canada. Exactly. Both English and French or French and English are spoken in Canada. Uh -huh. um, then English English use is uh, is used in elementary school in Singapore. It is used. Use or any other any other verb in elementary school. Remember, it's children. Oh. English. English teacher. Oh. Um. Yes, use the verb Carlos. teach in past participle. Teach is taught. Exactly, it is taught. English is taught no. in Singapore okay. in elementary school. English is taught. A great deal of work. Uh, La imagen. ¿Cuál es tu número? Mm -hmm. eh, 7655. 7001. 7001. Ok, ahorita te lo vamos a enviar. Ok. Sí. Sí, y mañana voy a pedir que me envíen el enlace porque no me lo mandaron en el, en el correo de confirmación. Ok. Ok. Vamos a ver, ya te creé. Ok, vamos a ver. Te lo envío. Ok. Uh -huh. Ok. Ok, ya te, lo, ya te lo envié. Ahí está él. Where? Where are you? We are. We are. We are. No. I didn't know. So sorry. <laughs> Um, the cars and computers is is hi everything okay okay <laughs> all right working yes are you comparing the sentences um, yeah. um, okay. we're working together all right great awesome okay um, we are okay uh i grade the then the the last one is a lot of beef or even in argentina right yes even. Partner, you try to do the 
exercise in the platform. I try to work in this exercise for this class, but I can, I don't know, say, no me salieron buenas. <laughs> I try, I try to practice. Me too. Yes, they were not practice. correct. <laughs> but now uh, you understand better. Don't worry. Ah, uh, yes. I, I, I S do, but yeah. I can. I didn't. Uh, I didn't. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But after it's, this class, the idea will be clear. Don't worry. Yes, it's, it's, much, it's more clear for me. Right. Yes. Did you finish the sentences already? Yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. Oh, the. Mexico youth or oh. a little no the youth or yeah, the last from... the last number eight is uh, a lot of beef uh, eat Kimonos. Kimonos. Grow. Yes. Grow. Uh, grow. 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 Um, manufacture in Japan. Kimono. Yes. We are kimono. We are sometimes. Kimono. We are sometimes. Kimono. We are makeup. Makeup. Use in Japan. Kimono wear sometimes used in Japan. Uh, yeah. Como trigo, dice. Wet. Ajá. Uh -huh. Teacher. Hi. Uh, oh, uh, it, it. Tell me. Uh, in this, in this exercise, we have to to work in the passive and active voice. Passive. In the passive. Passive voice, yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, same. All right, no problem. Uh. Um, or problem is that all vocabulary is very poor. Limited. <laughs> and some of these some, some of, the of these words are we don't, some of this the, uh, yeah. some of these words I don't 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 know. Okay? Yes. Uh, we are we are uh, looking for uh, the meaning. Looking for the meaning in the dictionary. That's great. Uh, okay. But you have completed Sorry, some sentences. Teacher. It's okay, <laughs> no problem. That's the idea that you practice. <laughs> Thank you. All Thank right. You we're gonna we're gonna compare uh, in uh, the whole session. Don't worry. A great deal on good.
Hello. Did you finish? Yes. Yes. Good. Let's wait for the rest to return. Probably they are really busy <laughs> trying to complete the sentences. Okay. Everybody return. <laughs> Was the exercise completed? No, teacher. <laughs> I don't, I don't complete the exercise was not completed yet. No, not complete. Yeah. Okay. Why? The number three. Until the number three only. Yeah. No worry. It's but, okay. But I find the number three, teacher. All right. Great. Only that. Only I, that I, I think that that is... A great deal on what are growing in Russia. Grown, exactly. <laughs> okay, grown. we're gonna start completing as a class. Don't worry. Mm -hmm. Let me just move this. <laughs> yes, thing. All right. Oh. We're gonna move the pictures right here. So both French and English. Mm -hmm. oh are spoken in Canada are uh -huh. spoken in okay. Canada exactly sorry <clears throat> both French and English are spoken in Canada all right English ya usamos it, speak is voy is is out is is out, out. Is, is out. Is, is out. elementary hot Thought. Thought. The past participle of thought. teach is mm -hmm. thought. Yes, thought. English thought. is taught in elementary mm -hmm. school in Singapore. Mentors. Singapore actually mm -hmm. has the best mm -hmm. educational system <laughs> in the whole world, I guess. So English is not optional. It is taught in elementary school. <laughs> As we wish it were taught in El Salvador, right? <laughs> but here we are, don't worry. A great deal of wheat are grown in Russia. Are grown in Russia. A great deal are is a big in... amount. Es una gran cantidad de trigo yeah. es plantada, right? Is grown. Is grown in Russia. Mm -hmm. Yes, a great deal of wheat is grown in Russia. A great deal of sugar cane probably is grown in El Salvador. Yes? Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. A great deal of rice is grown in China. A great deal of coffee actually mm -hmm. is, is grown in El Salvador's mountains too. Both cars and computers are are manufactured, manufactured, manufactured in Korea. Are manufactured in Korea. That's right. Both cars and computers are manufactured in Korea. Mexico. <laughs> is made up. Um, <laughs> is made, no. made up. Up. May, it's uh, made up, it's uh, compuesto uh, of 31 uh, states, a federal district, in a uh, federal district, que es el DF, uh, right? The district, the federal district is Mexico DF, which is the capital, I think. Kimonos. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. What happened with the kimonos? Are kimonos are is used plural. sometimes are, are, used, are, used, are sometimes are used 
worn. So wear, worn. wear for ah, clothes wore. is worn. Exactly. Worn. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Kimonos are sometimes worn in Japan. Actually, they are only worn for a special occasions, for weddings, for ceremonies. Mm -hmm. The bat is the currency that, that the what? Use. That is used. Yes. Uh huh. The bat is the currency that is used in Thailand. Thailand. The Bitcoin is now used in El Salvador. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. A lot of beef is eaten in Argentina. Is eaten. Actually, eaten. here we can also mm -hmm. say it's consumed in Argentina. Mm -hmm. A lot of beef. It's also eaten in Uruguay. A lot of beef. Either. Yes, a lot of beef. A lot of chicken is eaten in El Salvador. I would say a lot of pupusas <laughs> are eaten in El Salvador a lot, a lot as well. Of, a, lot of yes. a lot of pupusas are eaten in El Salvador. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, Correct. Yes. Of course. All right. Easy now. <laughs> <laughs> so you see that we don't need by. No necesitamos decir por quién, porque es something that happens, and obviously it's but it's done by people. Yes. Mm -hmm. But if you say, um, let's see, let's talk about. Um, Books. Romeo and Juliet. Romeo and Juliet was written by Shakespeare. Ahí sí tengo que decir quién fue que lo escribió. Por quién fue escrito. Mm -hmm. Porque, I mean, it cannot be anybody else. It is important and it's relevant to know, right? But if I say, um, what if I say a hundred years of solitude? Cien años de soledad was written by no Chase. Gabriel García Márquez. Gabriel García Márquez, exactly. <laughs> Can I talk about real examples in El Salvador? <laughs> no teacher, por favor, no va a meter el lío. <laughs> okay, no worry. Alfredo Espino, Alfredo Espino. Uh-huh. Something that Alfredo Espino wrote? Oh. The poems. The poems yeah. were written by Alfredo Espino, exactly. Right? Any idea of any important monument in El Salvador, for example, the National Theater, El Teatro Nacional, was designed by a Salvadorian? The National Theater wasn't designed by a Salvadorian. No. It was designed by a French person, by a French architect, I think. Mm -hmm. So in that case, it is necessary. But in this case, something that is that happens now, but the focus is what and not who, we don't need to say by whom. Yes? Okay. So that is why we say without by. The passive voice without by. And simple present, of course. Let's see, we're going to clear all this. All right, give me one second. We need to go. More exercises. No, please. <laughs> yes, please. Okay, let me see. Sure. The same groups. We stay in the same groups. Okay. Well, some people are, well, with a big group, so maybe I'm going to move some people, all right? All right. All right.
People produce cars in the factory. Mm. The in the fact no. in the factory are produced car the bird is in um, cards are produced uh, in this factory are produced car by the people <laughs> no say I don't know I think yeah but ah yeah yeah in this factory yeah. uh, are produced car by people. Mm -hmm. Just by people, uh, that's not, uh, we are um, uh, omitted, by uh, delayed in that case, part. In this case, I, know I don't use by, only is mm -hmm. or are. Yeah, and mm -hmm. pars participle. Yes. Okay. No tengo la indicación de arriba. Si quiere lo comparte usted. Using passive voice for simple present tense. Mm -hmm. And the first picture. Teacher, uh, hello. Uh, we use um oh we rewrite the the sentence for the simple present, right? Or, passive or voice, no? yes. Passive voice passive in the voice. simple uh -huh. present. It is the same the same structure that we were studying. The first picture uh -huh. says people produce cars. In fact, in this factory. So cars mm -hmm. are produced in this factory. That's it. By people, of course, right? <laughs> but we don't need we don't need uh -huh. information yeah. by uh huh. Okay. So you only say cars are produced okay. in this factory. Shoes are produced in this factory. Okay. Yes. And and it's not really necessary okay. that you rewrite the sentences. Of course, if you want to take notes, it's fine. Also, but only... the idea is that you discuss, compare. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, okay. Good. Okay, good teacher. Welcome. Okay, the number two. In this right factory. The farmer was grows. The farmer was grows. Um, grow is carrots. Grow. Grow carrots. By the, in this plate. Quiero sacar una cosa de anotar aquí porque en la compuesto. <coughs> The farmer grows, grows, grows. The farmer grows. Oh, the farmer was grow. Was. Eh, sí, el was siempre tiene que llevarlo. Mm -hmm. eh, was or were. Uh -huh, the dependiendo farmer si es... grows what? No, the, the farmer was what? grows. No, but the farmers grow what? 
They grow what? tomato, potatoes. Ah, okay. They grow carrots, right? Okay. Right. So carrots are grown. In this case, we don't use was because it's not in past tense, it's in present tense. So carrots are grown by farmers. Okay. I grow. Are grown. Grow, grew, grown. Yes? Okay. okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Repeat the example, please, teacher. Okay, the farmer grows carrots, right? Yeah. Okay, carrots are grown by the farmer in this field. ¿Qué son cultivadas? Las zanahorias, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Entonces, yeah. carrots are grown by the farmers in this field. Ah, okay, okay. Yes. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Um, Mr. Lawrence. Okay, entonces, uh, number one. Mason and Lucas read, read story book every day. A story books are read every day. Story. Story book. Books every day. Okay. And the last one, ice cream is eaten three times a week. Ice. Eat uh, ice cream. Three times. Hi. Hello. Did you finish? Teacher, I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> too difficult. <laughs> too difficult. Yeah, too difficult. Do I try to do the number seven. And uh -huh. All right. Tell me. Story, story books are real. Written. Written. Write, wrote, written. Ah, written. yes. <laughs> Mason and Lucas every day. Mm -hmm. Story books are written. Story books are written. Exactly. Ah. Is that all examples of this passive voice are written by you right now? <laughs> okay, I saw many of you writing the, the passive voice examples. Don't worry, we're gonna check it out. Okay, people produce cars in this factory. ¿Qué es lo que producen las personas? Ustedes tienen que ver como el objeto del verbo. Yes, y ese será el sujeto de la oración en passive voice. Remember? No sé si se recuerdan cuando les mostré esto. They produce a lot of wine. ¿Qué producen? A lot of wine. Entonces, a lot of wine se vuelve el sujeto. ¿Ya? Yeah? Okay. Tienen que identificar eso. Entonces, people produce what? Cars. 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 Right. Cars in cars. this factory. So, cars mm -hmm. are produced, are produced are in this produced factory. In this factory. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily you have to say by the people because obviously who else is going to produce cars? No aliens. Okay. <laughs> All right. Or sometimes in some factories by robots, but then yeah. you, you, you can specify. You say, oh, these cars are assembled mm -hmm. by robots in this factory. But yeah. then it is necessary, it is important, it is relevant. You can say by. Okay. 
All right. The farmer grows carrots in this field. What does the farmer grow? Carrots. 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 The carrots are grown. Carrots are grown. By the farmer in this field. In this you can field. say by the farmer if it is important, if it is relevant. Yes? Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. Mrs. Lawrence milks her cow, her cow twice a day. Twice a day. Cow. ¿Qué es lo que ordeña? Su vaca. Milk. The cow. The cow. milk es la acción de ordeñar, porque oh. le saca milk. Yeah. <laughs> yes, milk can be an action, it can be a noun as well. In this case, it's a verb, mm. right? Uh. Mrs. Lawrence milks her cow twice a day, so... Her cow is milked cow. twice a day mm -hmm. by Mrs. Lawrence. Her cow is milked. Her cow is milked. Is milked. With ed. Milk. 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 No ed. is uh, ed. It's milked by Mrs. Lawrence twice a day. ¿Cómo sería su oración? Perdón. Her cow. I'm going to uh, write it. Don't worry. Her cow. Her cow is milked twice a day. Digamos que esas son las two times, ¿verdad? Two times a day <laughs> by Mrs. Lawrence. Right? O sea, su vaca es ordeñada dos veces al día por esta señora explotadora. <laughs> Okay, so, right, because of the time, tengo que dejar la clase hasta acá, but we can continue with this example. Trato de hacer su mejor esfuerzo. You have the images, okay. I know. I know it's kind of tricky, but it's the same and very similar exercises that you have in the platform, okay? God okay. bless you, and Thank I you see care. you tomorrow. Tomorrow. Thank you, because this Thank class you. goes from Monday to Friday. See you. Take care. Blessing. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.